I have made some bad mistakes in my time, but that breaks, and I bet I've had way more fun than you. Hello there, and welcome to a birthday edition of Kip Does Stuff. That's right, today is my birthday. I'm turning 50 years old, so today I'm making myself a present. I think I'll make a dagger. Let's get started. Okay, on the bench I've got a piece of 14 inch steel, about three and a half inches wide, eight inches thick. I've drawn a dagger outline on it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'll cut that out. Next to that, I've got, this is, I think, brass. I cut it off of a decorative sword, and I'm going to use just this little piece right here for the blade guard. And then just some cheap pine for a handle. I considered trying to put this little ring on the end for some kind of decoration. I might do that, I might not. But let's get started. Got to tie my hair back, put in my earring, hearing protection, and get my safe glasses. Okay, I've got my steel clamped down to a Craftsman workbench. Actually, Black & Decker, but I think that's Craftsman. So now I'll we'll use my cheap angle grinder to cut out the basic shape of the blade. I'll skip the hilt and I won't cut the roundness of the handle. I'll cut it nice and straight. So let's get started. Okay, now I've got it over here in my vise. I'm going to take all these rough edges off real quick with my flap wheel, my grinder. Okay, now that we've got the rough edges taken care of, I'm going to come over to the grinder and do some rough shaping. Okay, and now we've got a couple hours of filing ahead of us. Let's get started. Okay, I've done a little preliminary uh, filing on this. I've actually reshaped the tang also because it was actually off center. And I've grabbed this piece of brass and I thought, you know, let's see if we can get it on there. And I had to shave the end of it a little bit, but it got on there. 
not square the this piece here isn't quite square I gotta square that up but I think I'm liking this sweep here so I'm gonna maybe try to keep that right, right now I'm gonna cut off this piece here and this piece here using my angle grinder That's a little better. Just need a little bit of shaping. Okay, so there it is. I got it all cut off. I got it shaped a little bit. Now I'm going to try to file it and sand it to get all the paint off and have the brass shine through. Let's see how well we do with what limited tools I've got. Okay, so here we are. I got this brass piece cleaned up quite a bit. Still needs extensive filing and sanding to make it nice and pretty. But I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for a dagger I can mess with. So I've got this on here. And I think that turned out looking really good. I'm really glad I kept these on there. I was going to cut them off right here. And then just shape it. But now I think that really makes the dagger. So since I'm just sticking in a rough state. I'm going to try to rough up a handle for it. And I'm going to make that out of this cheap piece of pine. Okay, I've already taken my blank over to the radio arm saw and cut it off to a rough length. About three quarters of an inch longer than I want it. So now I'm going to cut it for the handle blanks themselves. And I want that to be kind of beefy because I want to be a, make it nice and round and something I can really hold on to. And so I think I'm going to try to cut this down just slightly smaller than half. Okay, so I've got two nice blanks I can put on for handles on either side of this. And I'm just going to fill it in with wood or around it because I don't want to take the effort to countersink these or cut dados in these to make these fit right. So let's get some epoxy, some strips, and let's glue this all together. It's my birthday present. I can get anything I want. Okay, so I've got the two-part epoxy mixed up. That's about the last of it, too. I've got no more. So, let's go ahead and try to push them in between the joint right here of the brass and the steel. Never hurts to have a little bit of extra adhesion in there. There we go. Hopefully that'll keep it from loosening up down the road. Now, I'm just going to apply amounts on the back here.
There we go. And we'll let this stay up overnight. And hopefully by tomorrow, I'll be able to work on the knife again. Okay, while well, I'm waiting for the epoxy to dry on the handle, I guess I can do some sanding on the blade. I've only got maybe six hours worth of sanding left to do, so let's get started here. Okay, so here the dagger is after it's been cured overnight. The brass is nice and tight on there, it's not going to fall off, not going to wiggle around. The handle is really messed up. I didn't get the scales on straight to one another. They're square to the front here, which is really all that matters. Right now, I want to do some shaping on the handle. A lot of work to do yet. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I did go over to the radio arm saw and squared up the handle. So now it's nice and square to the blade and everything else so it looks like it'll be a little bit easier work to get the handle into shape so now I think I'm just going to take my files and try to shape this handle try to get it tapered down here in the front and some kind of round in on it see what we can do Okay, so I did a lot of sanding and filing, and I got the handle down something feels good. Nothing really special, nothing really ornate, but it's mine. It's my birthday dagger. I made it for me, and I'm going to enjoy it sitting on a shelf somewhere, or in a box, or a closet. Okay, thanks for watching.